Good afternoon, stampers. My name is Juanette, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in the United States. And I happen to have two sisters that are Stampin' Up demonstrators and a sister-in-law that is a Stampin' Up demonstrator. So I made each of them a card that fits into a five by seven envelope, and it is called a bench fold card and the reason it's called that is when you fold that little section down it looks like a bench and I made these to where they look like craft rooms and if you look real close I have some glossy accents here on that uh, pot of paint brushes there Here's the other one I made for my other sister using a little bit different colors. Again, it fits into a nice five by seven envelope. And you just kind of have to push that down and it fits in nicely. Now I've gone ahead and made an envelope for the card that I'm gonna make today. And here are the supplies that I used. So the paper that I used is Follow Your Art paper. And I fussy cut some of these things out to be able to embellish on the card. Then I stamped and colored the chair for in front of the craft room. And then these are the two stamp sets I used. It starts with art and crafting forever. And I believe it's this one starts with art. Yes, that comes with dies. And then the solid color of paper to use as the desk here, or the drawers, excuse me. This is from Petal Promenade, and it's the back side of one of the papers. So what you're going to need to assemble this card is actually very basic. So what we're going to do is start with a piece of thick Whisper White. This is again for a five by seven card. And recently, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the UK made this card. She made it look like a dresser. It was absolutely beautiful. Her name is Jan B. But she made a smaller version. I believe it's the A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. But again, this is for a five by seven. So what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is 10 inches by five inches. And along the 10 inch side, I'm going to bring this up so you can see. Well, maybe if I bring it down, you'll be able to see my score. I need to be able to see them there. <laughs> it's not going to work. All right, let's try one more time. Ah, okay. So along the 10-inch side, we are going to score at one and three-fourths. Three and a fourth, gonna pull that up so I can see it. Three and a fourth. Then over here to six and three fourths. And eight and one fourth. So that's the scoring for that piece. Then our next piece is Bring it in. It is a piece of seven inch 
by three and a half. And what we're going to do is score it at one and a half on the three and a half inch side. So here we have three and a half and we're gonna score it at one and a half. Now you can see this score line here, it from here to here is shorter than from here to here. So what you're going to do is lay this down in your score board and you're going to score on the shorter side. So this short side here, not this longer side, we're going to score it at one and three fourths. And what you're going to do is score just down to that first score line. Then you're going to come over and score at five and one fourth again, only down to the first score line. So if I bring it up to the camera, you can see this is the shorter end here. This is wider here. And we just scored at one and three fourths and five and one fourth just down to that first score line there. And then our last piece is a piece of cardstock, again, Whisper White. That is four and one half by two inches. And you're going to score on this longer side at a half an inch. And then at four inches. And that is going to be our brace. So then let me pull my scoreboard away. And be able to sit in my chair and bring this stuff up. So for our brace, all you have to do with that piece is fold and burnish those score lines on both sides. So that's what you're going to end up there. And then for this piece, we're going to trim these two squares away because we don't need them. So just bring in your paper snips and you're going to cut up on this horizontal line to that first score line. And then just cut away that square right there. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Again, up the score line. There. Turn it and cut away that other square. And we will not need these pieces. So they can just be go, they can go into your scrap bin. And then what you're going to do is fold this over. And that is going to make the top of your desk. Now, do you see here, if you look real close, you can see my score line there. I'm gonna cut that away so it looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna bring in a little bit larger pair of scissors and just snip that away. And I already snipped it away on this side here, so it's gone. Okay, so that's that piece. It's actually a quite simple card. And then this larger piece here. 
So this is the back of your craft room. This is where your table is going to be. So let me just double check to make sure I have it right. So this is going to be folded this way. So a mountain fold and then a valley fold. Like that. You're gonna do the same on the other side. So a mountain fold and then a valley fold. It's if I did that backwards, didn't I? I no, oh, did I? Oh my gosh. There. <laughs> Thank goodness it really doesn't matter. It'll still work out this way. And then that way. So, your paper is like this. And then when it's done, it's like that. Oh, thank goodness. Paper is forgiving at times. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue our little brace in here. And this will help stop this back piece, which is our top of our desk from going down. Oop, I got a little nap there. Okay, so what you're going to do is apply some glue right here, and I'm gonna take my favorite, my Beacons 3-in-1 glue. You know how much I love this stuff. And I'm just going to put a little bit here because it sticks very, very well. And I'm just gonna lay it right up against that score line there and then fold this over and make sure it's lying flat. Now it does take this glue a little bit longer to dry, so I'm gonna hold it there for just a minute. Then I'm gonna bring it over and continue to, oopsie, it does move. But that's the good thing about it, because it moves if you make a mistake. And then what we're gonna do is, while, that, while I'm holding that down there, we're gonna put just a little bit of glue here. And then fold this one over so it attaches. And I'm just gonna hold that for just a minute. Just so it catches. There, perfect. And I'm just gonna kinda pull it back and forth a little bit just to make sure that it's adhered well and straight. There you go, perfect. Okay, then this, all it needs to do is just be glued to the front there. So what you're going to do is apply some liquid glue right here. And what I'm gonna do is lay that in there, line that up, bring this down so that it is even. And again, this is fantastic glue because it really doesn't dry all that fast. So you have more than enough time to make sure everything is lined up well. 
And I'm just holding that down for a little bit. Perfect. And then what we're going to do, I'm afraid to move it yet <laughs> because it does, it does take a little bit of time to dry. We are going to put some glue here on this side and then attach that there. There we go. Fold that back like that. Get it out of the way. There you go. Alrighty. Just pull that in there, line that up. And mainly I want it even down here at the bottom here so that the card sits well. And it looks like I have a tiny little bit of an overhang here. No big deal. Very easy to solve that problem. Just bring in a pair of scissors and snip that off. Okay, perfect. Then all you have to do is bring that up, fold that over, train that paper. Then fold it over to the other side again train that paper so that it stays nice and even and will go into your envelope easily and then now's the fun part just decorating it so to decorate it I have some pieces that I've already done here and these will all be down in the description box so you will need six one and a half by half inch for the drawers. And like I said, it's out of that petal promenade paper. And I just took a little bit of basic gray ink with an ink dauber and put a little bit on the edges there to give it some shadow. Then you will need two pieces of three and one fourth by one and one fourth for the pegboard and the cabinet underneath it. And what I did is I had a little stamp with dots and a heart. And I just, again, put some basic gray ink on it and stamped it across so it looked like a pegboard. It has that little heart there. And then I also put just a little bit of shadowing around the edge. Then you will need two pieces of two and three fourths by one and a half for the wallpaper above the drawers, which is this right here, both of those areas there. And that's that. And I decided to use Calypso Coral for that. And it is back of a, another paper that we had in our collection. I believe it's retired now, but I love that color because it, to me, that does look like wallpaper. Then you need two pieces of two and three fourths by one and a fourth for the inside right here on both of those sides of the wallpaper. Then you will need a piece of three and three eighths by one and three eighths for the top of the desk, which is right there. And then a piece of three and three eighths by one and seven eighths for the front of the desk. And then all of your little embellishments, which if you can see, this is the washi tape that Stampin' Up! has. And I stuck it right there. Then I have some sequins, which are from the Metallic Baker's Twine sequins. I have some Wink of Stella 
for the front of my cabinets. I have Coastal Cabana. And then I have all of these little die cuts. So what I will do is just put this on fast forward and get to putting it together and you guys will be able to see it at the end. In the interest of time, I deleted the coloring and gluing of all the embellishments. I do hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial on this fun craft room bench fold card. If you would like any of the supplies, please visit my 24-7 online store. And thank you for joining me. Goodbye.